Hey lovely sexy hobby people, welcome to today's video um, which is going to be an unboxing for the 2024 Airfix Club membership pack. Um, as I understand it, it's only available, this pack is specifically only available in the UK. It costs £35 this year, you do get a twin kit in there, so uh, a kit with two um, aeroplanes in it. Um, what we're going to say, so I ordered this uh, 26th of January and it arrived about a week later, which was quite cool. Um, didn't have to mess about too much with it. The box itself came in another outer and on that outer it said this was something like um, 2000 and something of 4500. Um, was written on the box. I've since thrown that box away because um, I was using it for rubbish. But um, yeah, I found that interesting. You know, I appreciate that they only need that they only do a limited run on kits, but I wouldn't have thought there'd be that few. Um, but yeah, interesting. So the standard red box with uh, sprues decorating the outside and um, the underneath is not much to look at um, and then on the inside you get obviously your kit for the year which is going to be the Typhoon and Spitfire and then you get the usual um, now I've had three of these packs now um, so you get your welcome letter generic welcome letter you get your Club passport, you know, which I think are essentials. So some Airfix stickers, which is nice. And in actual fact, um, yeah, they haven't been stamped out that well, to be quite honest. Um, and then you get a Eat Sleep Airfix repeats. So that's I think that's different to last year. But then you get your remove before assembly flight tag and you get your airfix club badge It'd be nice if we got something different um so yeah pretty much that's your basic ingredients but what we want to look at is the limited edition kit so these are existing kits uh, but they are just given an exclusive um finish paint finish for club members so you get this is your typhoon uh, kit and then this is your super moon spitfire kit one destruction seat one sheet of decals now um by the way i'm still i still haven't received any decals despite right into airfix at the time so um i got the 2022 that was my first box uh my first club membership and that was the first and last the um hawks so the it was like the trainer um in the white and red livery and then the one in the black livery I didn't receive a colour plate or a decal sheet with those kits um, and it took ages for Airfix to respond uh, and I had to chase it up and I got a colour sheet but to this day I've never received decals for those two, those two kits which is disappointing to say the least. So anyway, um, Hawker Typhoon, Mark 1B and Supermarine Spitfire which is photo reconnaissance um, 19, Mark 19. Um, you're going to get your blurb here uh, in English for the two aircraft, um, then in French, and then obviously that continues in like German, Spanish, and is that Slovakian? SV? I have no idea. Anyway, then you get your assembly instructions in multilingual. Um, and then assembly icons that you're going to need to refer to when building your kits. Now, we're being, according to the instructions, we're going to make the Typhoon first. 
The Typhoon looks like a really nice kit. Um, the cockpit looks really well detailed for a 172 scale kit. I do apologise for my voice, I have got a stinky cold. I am sorry about that. Um, and there's even, if you have it in a wheels down configuration on the tarmac as it were, then there are other options. So for example, the gun bays, you can have the panels open by the look of it, um, so that you can see the guns on the inside. So that would be interesting with the RAF uh, ground crew kit. And then obviously you're putting on the rockets, which they were quite famous for. There's lots of footage of rocket armed typhoons, ca gun camera footage of rocket armed typhoons taking out armored trains or convoys, that sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then we get the colour plate. Now the colour plate is number 45, Rhodesia, Northern Rhodesian Squadron, Royal Air Force, Holmesy South, Hampshire in England. Um, and both of these aircraft, I'm assuming because this is going to be the 80th anniversary of D-Day, um, both of these aircraft have um, their invasion stripes. Um, the invasion stripes were placed onto the aircraft to essentially um, act as um, friend or foe identifier. Um, they were an easy recognition system for the allies um, and the Allied ground crews to distinguish these aircraft from the Axis aircraft that they would be facing. And then we're coming in with the Spitfire photo reconnaissance. Um, so this is nice, the pilots in part, so hopefully that might be a little bit more detailed. Um, Although his arm, his arm does look a bit stiff. Uh, cockpit tub being built up first, and then we're going to glue the two halves in. You've got the camera um, housing glass here. Um, so quite often you would find that as the aircraft was going along, because of the way the cameras were mounted, they would have to tilt slightly so that they could get a camera angle down onto the thing because it was pointless having a camera directly above um, where you wanted to photograph because you might not necessarily say for example be able to see under tree branches etc so you always have the angle looking sideways so that if there was a block of woods and tanks for example were just in camouflaged up on the side of the woods then the chances are that you might be able to see under the branches under the the top cover that the trees were giving the um vehicles that were being uh, hidden and that sort of thing um we then got the single um, assembly the the mono wing um, for the underneath of the spit uh, and I like these um, as opposed to the older style aircraft kits where you made the fuselage up and then stuck the wings in because if you weren't using a quick dry in cement then quite often you get wing droop um, using like the old polystyrene cement that you used to buy have to use uh yeah air intakes landing gear i mean these are these are going to be wheels down to be quite honest they give you the um wheel um angles here 
for when you've glued the wheels together and the correct angles. So you're going to be, the wheels are going to have to come down at an angle facing forwards at 70 degree. And then when you look at the aircraft head on, the landing struts are at 90 degree to the ground. And then this is really lovely blue color for the photo reconnaissance. Um, and this is number 541 Squadron Royal Air Force, Benson, Oxfordshire, England, 1944. And that is really nice. That is a really nice blue colour and it's unusual. I may have to break out the um, airbrush to spray that on so that I don't um, have any potential brush marks in it. So come down. So, decals. So the top ones are for the typhoon. So you've got your decals for your invasion stripes there. Um, you can choose. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. You can choose to use the decals if you so wish, or if you wish, you can mask off and spray um, and you've got obviously the invasion stripes here for the Spitfire this is the Spitfire decal section this is your Typhoon both aircraft have a decal sheet for the control panel let's have a look at the Spit first shall we So we have the four sprues for the plastic airframe and then one clear for the carbon canopy glass um, and some other stuff. Um, it's possible there might be, uh, I don't know if those are formation lights on the bottom there but the main camera housing would have been this glass panel which is inside of the aircraft now this is your single mono wing um, nice recessed panel lines nicely recessed panel lines here And obviously the same on the upper surfaces of the wings. That's really nice. And then the slim fighter airframe. Now this will go together and you, you then have a piece on the other sprue which will bring the tail plane out. that is brilliant and these are our other pieces um, you do get weighted wheels with this a set of weighted wheels as well as a set of wheels for landing gear up so cockpit is that cockpit parts? No, that might be that's something else. This is part of your cockpit tub there and there. There's your pilot seat. Um, another bit there. So the cockpit look re looks reasonably detailed. Yeah, considering you're not actually going to see a lot of it, but it looks okay. Then let's have a look. The 
Do, 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 do. Should have dug out a scout already. Right, here we go. Here we go. It's a hefty set of sprues for this. So our glass, nice clear canopy glass there. Um, two pieces. That is really nice. And then, we've got one, two, three, four sprues. So, this is a four-bladed prop, and this is a beast. This is a big, chunky aircraft. Um, so, you've got your mono, your, your bottom mono wing here and again really nice recess panel lines um, the ejection slots for the rounds um, from the machine guns there are all nicely um, punched out molded into the wing and the upper there is a slight gull wing to this you've got your rocket slides here rocket racks and they are some big ass flaps for the um, landing gear just there that's some rugged landing gear now here you have part of the what I think is part of the cockpit tub potentially and these are potentially part of the um, gun bays that go into the wings or no actually these will be the landing uh, the landing gear um, bays so they will go in to this wing and you will basically locate them Kind of like that. Underneath. There's your four bladed prop. Nice. You've got some of the bombs here in halves. And again, nice recessed panel lines on the fuselage for the aircraft. And then on the opposite side, these are the gun racks here. So, two of those. pilot your wheels come in halves so I'm expecting a lot more detail on this kit because there's a lot more um, going on with regards to pieces so the rockets look really nice they look like they've been really nicely molded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get eight. So they'll go on hard points under the wings. And that's a very classical look for the Typhoon with the rockets. And the fuselage. Yeah, I mean, this is a, I've never built a Typhoon before, but yeah, that's a chunky monkey, to say the least. It, um, it was supposed to be kind of like a heavy fighter, but it didn't perform well, but they found a use for it in ground attack, essentially. Some nice interior detail on the sides of the fuselage as well. So there you go. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. There you go. Right, these are the two kits that we get with our subscription this year. Um, 
they're nice. I'm not gonna lie, they're nice. I'm liking the detail on them. Um, and the photo reconnaissance spit is something different. So I'm gonna enjoy building those when I can fit them in. That was your Airfix club membership pack. Um, nice kits. I like them. Would be nice Airfix if you gave us something a little bit different in the in the box in the way of stickers, some different stickers. You know, maybe get some Spitfires printed out or something or some armor printed out onto some stickers and do something different anyway hopefully you'll join me in the next video all right take care bye bye